So you're an actor, which means you're asking the age-old question, how do I get an agent? I'm gonna tell you right now. How do I make this happen? There's something more out there. Maybe there's something more out there for you. The hardest thing is to get an audition, and without an agent or manager, you're left to submit yourself, which means you've got to have a fantastic reel, which is one of the reasons why we shoot reels for the students in my acting class. My lovely camera operator is very kind to be out here late at night. We just wrapped filming in a, in a, in a location, fantastic location, and I am so excited about the filmmaking process, I can't sleep. So I'm going to share a little wisdom with you. We're going to get a little philosophical, so let's take a walk. Let's talk about how you get an agent. So do you want a pile of agents to charge you, to attempt to sign you, to make you part of the roster at these giant companies that can just be huge game changers for you. And I'm not just talking about William Morris and CAA and the big boys, William Morris Endeavor and UTA, ICM, all these sorts of guys. I'm also talking about just an agency that will get you out there and get you working. Now, you might not be lucky enough to go to Sundance with a movie that's going to cause absolute pandemonium, but are you thinking about this the right way? Are you sending out a bunch of letters, a bunch of cover letters, a bunch of postcards, a bunch of nonsense, a bunch of, dear to whom it may concern, I am an actor who has been matriculating at my drama school and I am now ready for Hollywood stardom. So if you will please see my enclosed headshot, what are you doing? They're gonna file that in the round file. That's the garbage can. So probably the number one question I get from students is how do I obtain an agent? How do I get representation? Can you hook me up with your agent? And typically it's the students who I've only had in class for a couple of weeks. And truthfully, my answer is you don't. That might sound a little hardcore. You're not going to get represented yet because you're not rare and you're not valuable. You wanting to have an agent is not enough reason for an agent to sign you. Get serious about that. Do you know the throng of people that want to be signed by top Hollywood agents or even just by decent boutique agencies? They have no reason to want to sign you until you become rare and valuable. And I have no reason to refer you to an agent until I've seen you work in class and seen you develop into an actor who's very, very strong. And yes, all the actors in class eventually do get signed with agents. And typically they get signed with an agent from uh, another member of class is with an agent and they say, well, this person's always really good and they don't have my same casting and my agent's pretty good and he's sending me out or she's sending me out and why don't I hook up a referral for this person in class who's doing such a great job? But why should they? Why should anyone give you a referral to an agent? How hard are you training? How hard are you going? Are you really even doing it? Can you throw down? Are you going to these agency showcases and just showing off? trying to knock their socks off with your overacting? Or have you commanded the camera? Have you learned how to really properly be on camera? Are you just crushing scene after scene after scene in a scene study class? Is that class really preparing you to look fantastic on film? Would you pass a screen test? Let's say you got all the way to producers. You're auditioning for a TV show. Would you be able to make all the producers in that room say, I don't know who this person is, but they're the lead in our new TV show. I'm gonna spend a million, million and a half dollars, maybe more, on a pilot, and that's the guy I'm going with. Have you developed your skill to the point of where anyone would ever want you to be part of their agency? So first step is develop your skill. But now I know what you're thinking. I'm already awesome. So I'm gonna tell you how to actually get an agent now. Here's the deal. You've written that cover letter. So what? No one's gonna read the damn cover letter. No one's gonna look at your postcard. Don't mail anything. Don't do anything ridiculous like that. The truth is, like Michelle Rodriguez at Sundance when she got bombarded by agents, you are going to wanna create a magnet that draws those top agents to you. You'll know you're ready for the top agencies when they come to you. In the meantime, you're gonna need boutique agencies not lower agents, but just agents of perhaps lesser stature that are gonna believe in you. And you're gonna use referrals to find who those are. And how are you gonna get referrals? By doing excellent work. You're gonna need a reel, a very solid reel. And yes, you could probably use IMDb Pro or any other kind of mailing list and say very casually, write an email casually, have the subject line be, what's up my man? What's up homeboy? What's up? Whatever's cool to say, just whatever sounds informal. Don't say like, to whom it may concern, I am approaching you with an offer you don't care about. You need to say informally, hey, check out my reel. Even better if you can say, 
so-and-so referred me to you. They thought you might be interested. They thought what I'm doing might be in your lane. So I'm sending you my reel. You have to have a fantastic reel. I don't know how you're going to get it. You're going to shoot student films. You're going to, you know, become a filmmaker, get a YouTube channel. You're going to join Screen Actor System. We shoot reels in class. Another plug, boom. So here's the point. They're going to come to you at that top level. And before then, you're going to have to utilize agents at a slightly lower tier of the industry to help you book those initial guest stars, those co-stars, those five and unders, those reoccurrings that become series regulars. That's what happens. I've seen this happen to so many students in class where the hardest thing is to book your first part, to book your first speaking part at all. Then once you book that, the second one's easier, the third one's easier, the next 10 are gonna be easier than the first three. And once you get on a roll, agents will come to you. And how do you get those initial parts? You're gonna self-submit. I even recommend doing extra work. Go out there, don't get toxified you know, relationships going in those holding areas where those people bring you down. I'm gonna say, go do extra work, be at cause, come with an executive mindset, come like you're the lead in the movie, and you're going to get extra bumps. I see it all the time. Believe it or not, people go as an extra, and they end up with a line, and then you end up in a movie with a line that's a big Hollywood movie. Get the credits any way you can, get the reel any way you can, and then submit to smaller agencies. That's how you get started, you knucklehead. Let's talk some more. Where we have light. It's got to be frustrating to have someone say, <laughs> hey, come to class or make some friends, get a referral. Don't send a letter. I know you want to take action. Taking action is key. You absolutely must take action. But why not start by doing basic things? How's your headshot look? Do you have a good reel? Have you invested in yourself? You know, being an actor is like running a small business. It takes a little bit of money to make money. You've got to train. You've got to develop a reel. You've got to develop some headshots. And don't fall for, you know, too much networking or let me get, you know, spend all day on Instagram trying to make followers and all that sort of thing. That's not necessarily going to help you. Look, if you have 10 million followers on Instagram, they're going to come to you. What you're going to want to do is just a good, hard, honest day's work. Why don't you try self-submitting? Get your resume going. People want to come to a party that, frankly, is already going. They don't want to have to come to the party and, oh, by the way, there is no party. You're going to have to help me start the party. You need to start the party on your own as much as you can by doing anything you can. You want to believe this fantasy that some agent's gonna come along and whisk you away to a life of stardom and ease and leisure. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna be a ton of hard work. It's gonna be very, very rewarding, but the truth is you will become an agent magnet. You will become a representation magnet when you get really, really good at this, when you have the real to prove it, of course you have a headshot, you're self-submitting yourself, you're gonna start building a resume, and then a smaller agency is gonna want you. Then you're gonna get a strong booking ratio going with them, you're gonna start booking auditions, you're gonna start getting some serious opportunities, maybe you'll get a pilot, maybe you'll get a series. I've seen actors in class get series off, you know, reasonably unknown agents, frankly, but it's because they were exceptional actors. And a lot of times, TV shows will say, hey, let's see everybody. We're just gonna see 2,000 people for this part. Then you're gonna have your shot, and you take your shots, and eventually a top agency's gonna wanna represent you. Even if a big agency took you, if you weren't ready, they're just gonna do what's called hip-pocketing you. You don't wanna be hip-pocketed. I would avoid agent showcases. Now, I'm not saying that all agents who do showcase work are illegitimate. I'm just saying that the frame you set by saying, hey, let me do my song and dance, be the dancing monkey for your entertainment, please sign me. That's not what's gonna really do it. You need to become an agent magnet at the end of the day, which means becoming rare and valuable in terms of your skill level and in terms of the marketing materials you're able to build all on your own with nobody's help. And then, after some time, you'll get one agent. After some time, you'll get a better agent. After you book, eventually your IMDB will be long enough that people start to get carpal tunnel when they're scrolling through it. Then the sky's the limit. But if you're not there yet, don't get frustrated. It's just gonna take time to build. When I first started teaching acting class, actually, I taught a SAG conservatory and I had a ton of students because they all came over from the SAG conservatory. But one reason why I'm even doing this type of content and just giving you value and giving you information for free is because you're gonna get to know me. Not everybody who watches this video is gonna run out and sign up for my acting class. That's just not gonna happen. But over time, I'm becoming rare and valuable because I'm giving you information for free as much as I can. I'm just gonna keep giving and giving and giving. That's what you have to do. Keep giving and giving and giving until eventually nobody can deny you. You'll become absolutely undeniable and then none of those things will really matter. 
But we don't tend to focus on creating that magnet and creating that thing that's gonna draw people in. We just say, gimme, gimme now, I want it. When you move to LA, you have a four year clock. The average LA actor lasts about four years. It's like an egg timer starts the second you move to LA and the sand is running out of the hourglass. How much time do you have left? Congratulations, if you've been there longer than four years, you're a damn survivor. You might not be where you wanna be yet, but eventually you will stand the test of time. And it's just sort of this war of attrition. And the last man standing wins. And at the end of the fight, ding, 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 the winner and still champion will be show business. You're not going to defeat show business. You can participate in it. You can have an amazing life doing this work. I promise you, you can have an amazing life doing this work. But you've just got to create the artistry that it takes to be of any value to anybody. Your dreams are so close, you can almost reach out and touch them, but they're not gonna come to you all by themselves. You're gonna have to run and chase them now. I'm Ryan R. Williams, thanks for watching. You need a good on-camera class. You need real footage. So hard to come by. LA's number one on-camera acting coach, Ryan R. Williams, is here to help as many of you as he can, and it's simple. Join his on-camera acting class, voted number one by Backstage Magazine readers, and every month he shoots footage for your reel. Like that sweet footage you're watching now. And yes, I am Ryan R. Williams. So let me give you one tip for getting an agent. If you want to get really, 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 really crazy, just go on IMDb Pro and just start emailing random agents your reel, your resume, your headshot, with a crazy cover letter, with a crazy subject line, and here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna you know, figure out the agency email system. There's not gonna be emails for every agent at the agency probably on IMDb Pro, but you can figure out what their organizational schema is. If there's one email that's like, sally.jenkins at you know caa.com then you can just find the name of the agent you want and you can assume it's going to be you know carly.jones at caa.com and you can just sort of extrapolate what all the emails are going to be or just locate those email addresses and just cold email them you can even get really frisky and lie and say hey this person who's on your roster thought I might be in your lane. I ran into him at a thing and they said, hey, you should reach out. And so I'm reaching out to you. You can bluff the referral. I know these things are kind of cheeky, but look, if you fake it until you make it, then I guess you weren't fake. That's sort of the way that goes. You know, you can bluff your way into Hollywood. There's famous stories of Orson Welles bluffing his way into Hollywood. Steven Spielberg pretending to be the head of the studio's son to get on the Universal lot to eventually become essentially the best filmmaker Universal ever had on their lot. It started with a bluff. Plenty of actors started out bluffing. You're absolutely going to have to make it happen for yourself. Even if you get an agent, even if you get a manager, you're still gonna be doing most of the work. So why don't you do most of the work before you even have these guys on the team? And then they're gonna to wanna to be part of the team because they see a go-getter. They see someone with better things to come and they wanna be a part of that. It creates momentum. When you're on fire, everybody comes to watch you burn. Remember that, I'm gonna say that again. When you're on fire, everybody comes to watch you burn. Are you on fire? Are you fervent? When I say fervent, how many of you thought, oh, Clarman, the book, The Fervent Years. Have you even read The Fervent Years? What are you if you're an actor and you haven't read these books? Have you read the right plays? Have you read, have you watched the right movies? Have you checked off every film on AFI's top 100 list or do you just want to be famous? If you just want to be famous, I don't know, you're in trouble. You're in trouble because your agent's not going to just be able to make you famous. If there was somebody that had the famous button, they would press it for themselves. Nobody has the famous button. You just have to do the work like a magnet. <laughs> Oh, don't fall over. <laughs> I was trying to stop you before that. that was